from amongst the ceremonial unit known as the Old Guard, which performs the full honor funerals here in the cemetery. And at the tomb, you'll see the guard on duty take 21 steps across the plaza, pause facing the tomb for 21 seconds, then turn and take another 21 steps back. And the number 21 is the dog of the military's highest honor, the 21 gun salute. Every half an hour, a very impressive ceremony takes place known as the changing of the guard. And the changing of the guard is not just for display. An actual military inspection takes place where Relief guard's uniform is not perfectly set and arranged, and his rifle is not immaculate. He can be dismissed and not allowed to take his place guarding the tomb. But this happens extremely rarely because the tomb guards take their duty very seriously. Now, as I mentioned, there is a grave for an unknown from the Vietnam conflict at the tomb. However, this grave is now empty. Through mitochondrial DNA testing in the early 1990s, scientists were able to identify the unknown as First Lieutenant Michael Joseph Flassey, a fighter pilot who was shot down near Anne Rock. And at the request of his family, Flassey's remains were reinterred at Jefferson Barracks National Cemetery near his hometown of St. Louis. But the inscription remains at the tomb to honor those who served and died in the Vietnam War. And of course, for DNA testing to be successful, you have to have a known sample to compare it to. And as there are no known samples for the other unknown soldiers, they will remain unknown at the tomb forever. Now, coming up on the hill to the left, you'll soon be seeing many small white government issues headstones. But unlike the other two scenes of the cemetery, there's an inscription. It says, in memory of, on each headstone above each name. And that means these are an actual burial site. They're called cenotaphs. They're memorials for men who were certified dead by the Department of Defense, but whose remains were never recovered. And many of these men perished in World War I and World War II, in particular, the Battle of the Bulge. But also interred in the coming section, Sergeant First Class Paul Ray Smith. And Paul Ray Smith was awarded a Medal of Honor for going above and beyond the call of duty serving our country in Iraq. And you can see his headstone coming up at the end of the row in the middle of the hill here with the Medal of Honor symbol, one down from the corner. And though his remains and the remains of those named in that section will never be recovered, they still deserve a place of honor here in Arlington National Cemetery.